Good morning and welcome to the Daily Word devotional. I'm Abby Maynard, one of the pastors here on staff at Pulaski Heights United Methodist Church. And today I'm bringing you a reading from Matthew chapter nine. As Jesus went on from there, two blind men followed him, crying loudly, have mercy on us, son of David. When he entered the house, the blind men came to him. And Jesus said to them, do you have faith that I can do this? They said to him, yes, Lord. Then he touched their eyes and said, according to your faith, let it be done. And their eyes were opened. Then Jesus sternly ordered them, see that no one knows of this. But they went away and spread the news about him through all the district. After they had gone away, a demon-possessed man who was mute brought, was brought to him. And when the demon had been cast out, the one who had been mute spoke. And the crowds were amazed and said, never has anything like this been seen in Israel. But the Pharisees were saying, by the ruler of the demons, he casts out the demons. Here we have a couple of kind of interesting healing stories, I think. Um, and they have some details that I think can be quick um, to skip over, but I wanna make sure we notice them today. This is not just a text about Jesus healing. It's also about the news of Jesus getting out and how it was received. The man who's possessed by the demons is literally given a voice. And we see the reactions of this amazed, shocked crowd and the doubtful Pharisees who are crediting Jesus' power with being something demonic. I think this is kind of the the scene we expect to play out, the thing happening very publicly, the crowd and the dissenters. But I think that the interaction between the blind men and Jesus is really the more interesting one because it's the one that's more subtle. These two men know who Jesus is enough to call out to him and call him the son of David. They seek him and they show him their faith. And because of that, they're healed. And then Jesus does the most unusual thing, it seems because he says to go and make sure that no one knows. I can't imagine how they were supposed to go back and pretend that they weren't blind anymore. How, how they were supposed to go back and, and not let anyone know that this had been done. But even if they had tried, they couldn't. And I don't even think that they tried because it says that they went from this place sharing the news all over that district. The good news of Christ, of Jesus, of an encounter like that is good news that needs to be shared. It's the kind of news that you just can't keep to yourself. Friends, we have that good news even still. And we have that kind of news that is meant to be shared because it is too much good just for us by ourselves. And so today I hope that you will share that love, that good news with someone beyond you. Have a great day.